What's up, YouTube? I was on my way home, but I just realized that uh, uh, engine check light turned on for Mini Cooper 2010. And it turns out I have a problem with the code of 282 DME oxygen sensor before catalytic converter. Probably O2 sensor, right? Also, I got another code named 276A DME um, catalytic converter conversion. I'm kind of feeling like that I have to replace the oxygen center since this car has been a long time. It's been like 10 years and ran about 142 kilo miles, right? So I can immediately delete this travel code. We're anyway it can erase those things but uh, probably this will happen time to time and I probably need to go back to uh, the auto sensor to easily remove the oxygen sensor you will need a special tool like this there is an opening so this can uh, make it very easier regardless you have a connection of the electrical stuff well, you can get about seven to eight dollars in um, Harbor's Fright tool. Uh, seven of eight inch, or equivalent to twenty-two millimeter. Oxygen sensor in this thing is pretty, pretty deep, right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Uh, yeah, I have to put this in to get this out. So basically what I'm trying to do is just make it more space to work on. Interesting, maybe I can remove this guy so that I can have better access. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. I don't have a breaker today, so I'm gonna extend using like this another oh, ratchet opening. This is really tight. I think we need a lube. So when the nut or oxygen sensor is completely stuck like this, put WD-40 or other equivalent uh, lubricant. And another one you can do is striking with a hammer. Here I'm gonna use a long flat screwdriver. You could use your hammer if you can. Something like this. So basically what we are trying to do is by striking with a screwdriver or equivalent some good mass materials if you apply shock then it is more likely to uh, make a gap between those two different materials uh, stacking each other. Now let's try to remove this again using the special tool for oxygen sensor replacement. I'm just gonna use the extension for the leverage. Yeah, it went. Yeah, this is the extracted. This is the extracted oxygen sensor. You have to use this kind of 
uh, special tool designed for oxygen sensor. Since this oxygen sensor is connected through the wire, so what you're gonna do is something like this. Yeah, I just found out we have to push it all the way down so that you can rotate this actual the sensor. You have to actually almost fold the the cable connected to the oxygen sensor. Since it's highly stuck together with exhaust pipe, so what I used to do is I was trying to hit here. The head of the bolt is pretty solid, so should be fine to hit any any places using a flat screwdriver. Just don't make any hole uh, directly on top of the exhaust. Exhaust will be a trouble if you hit with this kind of flat driver and use a hammer so that you can make it easier to uh, take out the bolt or, or oxygen sensor which is stuck to the hot uh, exhaust yeah that's basically what I did you can kind of see if if the new part actually has the same connector as the taken out one and in terms of length wise and everything looks pretty much similar so we're gonna install this this time hopefully this can resolve our issue of end light issue okay I'm just gonna pre-install the new cable the coupler of the auto sensor I guess this is much easier way to install yeah I guess this is gonna be stuck again but uh, some people re recommend to uh, loop a little bit using some silicone oil whatsoever but I found I just found out this is already pre lubricated so we don't really need to do that this is another merit of using a good part and new brand new one instead of just clean up and be using install the new parts of the O2 sensor using a one hand and basically plug in by rotating the clockwise and we can further tighten up using the 22 millimeter socket with extension bracket I guess you don't really need to hard tighten this but just make sure not to be loosened by some external vibration and now all you need to do is just put it back this bracket using a 10 millimeter bolt which holds the coupler of the auto sensor and finally just don't forget to coupling back the original wire to the sensor so let's try to start the engine up The idling sounds pretty good and stable but I still see some engine warning light I'm sure if you guys can see like here and here Probably it seems like uh, this is not gonna be go away automatically Instead, I probably need to connect one of the scanner for the Mini Cooper to get rid of those code, error code. Let's clear the trouble code here. And it says false code is erased. And now, as you can see, um, those warning light is gone now. So hopefully this will not pop up again. I'm not 100% sure this can fix all the problems of the Mini Cooper, but at least uh, we're gonna take a try. Okay, thank you for watching. See you guys, enjoy the Mini.